All right. So we have driven the turd cell once again. Uh, I thought I'd do a proper introduction because some people don't know anything about these. Some people don't give a shit about these. Some people love these. Um, so we have a 1986 Toyota Tercel four-wheel wow. drive. Um, they were wow. a pretty popular car in the 90s for the most part. They came with a 1.5 with like 63 horsepower. It's generous at that time, especially with four-wheel drive. <laughs> Okay, so we got a window. We got a window. And uh, we're gonna install it because this garbage bag window life isn't the life for us. Garbage bag. Or maybe it is. Oh, I should really use this piece of shit too. I'm gonna use this piece of shit too. That looks pretty piece of shitty to me. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna fix this bastard right here. Um, because uh, it was sticking wow. while we were driving and uh, we can't have any of that, so. And Tyler, I told him, I had to yell at him to push me off of the boat uh, with his car because I am not running for some reason. We already have a sticky brake uh, caliper on the passenger front, so I've had to do some e-brake and uh, clutch compression braking. Window, bro. It's sick. Looks this, there the whole time. this boy needs some some love too. Let's go all the way down. <laughs> okay. To be fair, everybody does stupid things, and we definitely do some dumb things sometimes. Um, basically, I rolled the window down and left it down, and then when Tyler went to drive it, he assumed that the window. Was, um, Basically, I rolled the window down and left it down, and then when Tyler went to drive it, he assumed that the window was not there because the person we got it from uh, let us know that the track might not be working. Uh, so I guess Tyler, I guess, thought somewhere that the window was gone, and then I completely believed him and completely spaced on the fact that I did in fact roll a glass window down when we got the car. <laughs> All right, so I actually got the slide pins uh, loose here. So that's good news. Looks like as long as this caliper piston isn't totally seized that um, hopefully we can just clean these up and be good to go. Oh, so, this thing's actually moving easily. So this caliper is probably not seized, just the slide pins need to be cleaned.
Okay, so uh, we have tried to release the calipers and we have done a tune up, just spark plug wires, spark plugs, uh, clean the dizzy cap, rewire or rewrap some wiring. Um, yeah, and now we're back at the shop um, about a day later. Yep. Tyler is uh, making these steel wheels look nice by scrubbing them down and you can see we've got some calipers and rotors and pads now because our caliper release job did not work. I also got some brand new winter tires for this little beast and those steels look pretty good thanks to Tyler for wanting to clean. Well, we did everything that we thought we had to do and we left the shop and something else happened. <laughs>